Peace, welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the first Sunday of Advent. We have now entered into a new season, a new liturgical calendar, the cycle C. So this Sunday, the first Sunday of Advent, again, we encounter the calling from the Lord, be vigilant at all times, because it is imminent, the coming of the Lord. In the first reading, there is the prophecy that God saying, I will fulfill my promises to my servant Israel. There will be a shoot that comes from David and his kingship, his kingdom will last forever. And the shoot that comes out, the offspring that comes out from David will do what is right. This is, this is a messianic prophecy. When we come to the gospel, the very last line says, Stand firm when the Son of Man comes. Stand firm. The Son of Man is the Messiah. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. We are looking forward for the coming of the Messiah. Yes, His second coming. But yes, also He came. And that is why the imminent vigilance is that every day and every moment of our existence must be alive, always in union with Him, always pleasing to God. That is why it always is a good news, a, a new proclamation every time we come to a new season, a new calendar. Not that, oh, it is already past, it is just a routine, it is coming. No. God is always new, as St. Augustine even said. Oh, beauty, so ancient, yet so new. And that is why in Christ, everything is new. We have to be vigilant at all times in that every moment of our existence must be lived in the new way. That is why the second reading is a hint for us how we are going to live our lives in this first week of Advent season and throughout our lives. The second reading tells us, the Apostle is praying for all of us that you may abound in the love for one another and then that you will conduct yourselves in a way that is pleasing to the Lord. You see, first week of Advent season, two things I want to suggest. First and foremost, let us focus on the statement in the Gospel, to stand firm before the Son of Man. To stand firm. You see, we thank the Lord for the past liturgical year. But you and I know that there were moments of the last liturgical year that we did not stand firm in the faith and in the love of God and in the service of the Lord and in the service of the church. There were moments that we were hesitant to really give a confident answer, for example, to someone who asked us questions about our faith. Or we didn't stand firm in our giving of our love or of service to others. Maybe many times half-heartedly we did that. So for this first week of Advent, for this first Sunday of Advent, let us really make a decision, an act of the will. We stand firm in our journey now of the new liturgical year. We stand firm to live the faith. We stand firm to truly conduct ourselves according to the second reading, pleasing to the Lord, that we may abound in the love of one another. When, when in fact, many times we escape opportunities to love others, to be generous. So stand firm. Ask yourself, what are the things in your life of faith, in your spiritual life, that you are not standing firm for the Lord? And then there, 
build yourself up. It is this time that we, that we are given a chance to once again make a new beginning, a new start, with a new launching of our faith and love of God and spiritual life. To stand firm for Jesus Christ. The second thing I want us to do, this is a new liturgical season, a new liturgical year. Think of new ways in your the growing of prayer life. Think of new ways in your devotion to the Eucharist. Think of new ways in your devotion to the Blessed Mother Mary. Think of new ways in, in trying to fight the good fight against the monsters that we have in our lives. In this way, we can truly change and become a new person in Christ. In this first Sunday of Advent, may Jesus the Messiah give us that kind of enthusiasm to prepare well for His coming. And may the Blessed Mother Mary to help us in our preparations for the coming of Jesus Christ, her Son. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others.